Zone 3, welcome aboard. Zone 3. What's up guys? Just want to give everybody a quick update from North Dakota. Sitting on Lucas's porch here drinking some coffee. Shot the bows this morning and spent some time getting all of our uh, my gear kind of situated here. I'm, it's my first time running this Horn Hunter pack that fits on the, the Lone Wolf. And uh, give you a little look here of the, the setup, the dojo. The bows all dialed in, got the several broadheads on there. Shooting those 125 grain uh, hybrids. And you can see here, got the new pack all dialed in, locked on there. Thermocell, critical for North Dakota. that are hunting with us we all piled down into a piece of private that lucas has access on here and uh right away you can see a couple of bucks out in the out in the field here it's cool we kind of have we have we have them like surrounded here and they're all working back off these big ag fields and uh surrounded but not not uh, cornered by any means they they skirted right between lucas and i there just about 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago there was a nice buck that came out in the corner down here just raking a rush and all of <laughs> I got excited. I thought he was gonna come, come right down here. You know, he was probably only 100 yards, 120 yards where I first saw him, and <laughs> like they always do, he kind of just worked off the other way, and it was cool. Like three of us could see him at once, I and mean, we're, we're not but a few hundred yards from each other. But that'll be it for the morning here. Today with Jared, we're ripping the blackstone. Oh yeah, I'm a scrambled guy, and then I put him in the tortilla with cheese and hot sauce. Very nice. Very, oh, 
That's not that bad. Bon appetit. Thirty-two ounce caramel macchiato. <laughs> so we're down to the very last night here in North Dakota, and Lucas and I hung together. Had some good activity this morning, didn't see any of the bucks we were after, but <clears throat> the other guys said that they may have seen him run across the field here back into this thicket first thing in the morning, so so anyways, we got back in here and got to the base of the tree, and something started raking a tree behind us, like, we kind of like hit the grit, I was in the tree with the stand, and I shimmied down real quick, and he was raking, and I don't know, it just kind of stopped. We don't know if it was a bug or an elk. They've got pictures of an elk down here, so yeah. It's been an awesome trip. We had a, a ton of fun. Ran into town today, got some Red Bull smoothies and coffees, and ran and got some pizza for tonight and stuff. And so we're all kind of wrapping up. Maybe I'll face my own wrestling match tonight to, to wrap it off. I'm already sweaty, so he challenged me to 30 seconds. So he said 20, but I'll up his, I'll up his 20 to 30. So, anyways, it's been an awesome trip. Yeah, it's been uh, been fun. Yeah, it's been a win either way. So that's you know that's when you know you're doing it right when you kind of struggle with the deer, but you still have a blast. So yeah. you do with the, the adventure. And yeah, it's been miserable, but awesome at the exact same time. But it's a part of it, and I've I've earned the suffering because no, I mean not that it was easy, but I killed a freaking slammer last year, on my very first trip, and we worked hard for it, but. That was my time to pay for that one and earn the next one. So we're grinding away, man. All right, we'll see what we see. It's take me. Oh.